How do I add a password parameter in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.387.3. So let's start building out a fresh pipeline to add a password parameter to. So I'm going to click on new item and I'm going to call this password example. I'm going to select pipeline and click OK. Now at this point, let's go down into our pipeline definition. I'm going to start with try a sample pipeline just so we can get started here. And let's assume for a moment that this stage is fine, but we're going to come back and fill this in for our step in just a few moments. Now let's go ahead and click on pipeline syntax. In this case, let's go to declarative directive generator and under parameters, what we're going to do is we are going to add a new parameter of type password. I'm going to give it a name of my password one. I'm not going to give it a default value. And the description is, this is my password one. Now let's say I wanted to add a second password parameter as I'm getting ready to generate this. Well, if I click on add again, what you'll see is I cannot add the same type anymore. So what I'll have to do is generate it and then I'll just copy and paste to create my second parameter. So let's go ahead and click on generate declarative directive. I'm going to copy my parameter section here and let's go back over to our pipeline. In between agent and stages, I'm going to paste this in. Let's clean it up a little bit. And what we're going to do here is we are going to first off clean this up just a little bit. We're going to delete default value because it's not necessary to be there. By removing it, the default will just be empty string anyway. Let's go ahead and copy this and I'm going to change this to password two. So once we get this job set up, what we'll see is two different parameters, one for password one and one for password two. I'm actually going to go ahead and put this echo back in here just for a moment. And I'm going to click on save. Now notice we've added two parameters and we're going to let the stage really do no work right now. So let's click on save. Now you'll notice that we have build now, but if we go back into our configure, we've defined two parameters, but we actually don't see the parameters defined within the job. Notice this checkbox here, this project is parameterized. What we should expect to see is our two passwords here but we're in sort of a chicken and egg situation. We need to run the job at least once in order for the definition of the Jenkins file to actually apply to this setup. So I'm going to uncheck this box. I'll click save again. Let's go ahead and click on build now just once. And what that will do is it will go through and set up the parameters that we need. So we see the output for the hello. That's all that we needed for this first run. But notice what happens when I click on password example now. Instead of just seeing build here, we now see build with parameters. If we go back into configure, we see that the project is parameterized, the name, my password one, there's its description, and there's the my password two, also its description. So let's go ahead and scroll down into the job definition again, and let's change up our echo hello. And in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say sh echo dollar sign my password one, and the same for password two. This is just an example. You'll see why we're doing this in just a moment. I'm also gonna add in one more stage. And I'm going to call this env steps. I'm going to say sh env pipe to sort and close this up. So in the first stage, what we're going to do is echo out those two variables that we are going to be typing in as parameters. Then in the next stage, we're going to be echoing out all of the environment variables that are available and sorting them. All of this will make more sense in just a moment. Let's click on save and let's click on build with parameters. Now we're able to enter in, this is my password one, and this is my password two, and we can see they're mapped to these names. So the names will become environment variables within our pipeline. I'm gonna change this password, and I'm just going to type in abc123 for password one, and then for password two, I am going to type in qwe987. Now you can't see these because these are password parameters, but let's go ahead and click on build. As we're waiting for the job two to start up, what we're going to see once we get into it, we entered it in password values. And because we did the echoes, we see the echo of those values here. We see our ABC123 and our QWE987. If we go down into our ENV sort, we're also going to see these variables here as well. But think about this for just a minute. These are passwords, and we do not want the passwords to end up in our console log in clear text. So how can we work our way around that? There is a plugin named Mask Passwords. What this plugin does is it gives you the ability to mask out values based on a variable. 
In this case, we would be masking out my password one and my password two. Now, if you're using freestyle jobs or any other non-pipeline job types, you can set this up globally. But with pipeline jobs, we need to get a little more granular. So let's go back over into our job and let's go back to configuring our job. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that these two variables do not echo out to the console log. And as well, we want to make sure that where those variables show up in our ENV, also those values don't echo out as well. So let's go into pipeline syntax. We'll go back to snippet generator. And on this Jenkins controller, I have already installed the most recent version of mask passwords. So that gives me a sample step that is called mask passwords. Now you have two choices. You can either do it by named value or you can do it by regular expression. In my case, since I only have two and I only need to be concerned with two, I'm just going to add those in specifically. So in this case, the name is going to be my password one. I'm just gonna name it the same as the variable that I have. The password though is going to map back to the variable. So in this case, it's gonna be dollar sign, my password. Now all of that is masked out so we can't see it, but I'm gonna be taking that variable in. So the name is my password one, but the actual value under the hood for my password is dollar sign my password one. Now I'm also going to add in my password two. So I'll copy this, change this to two, and then down in the password, I'm going to put in dollar sign my password two. Now let's go ahead and generate the pipeline script for this. Now you'll notice that everything ended up being exposed out here, which is fine. That's, that's all we need because there's actually nothing magical in this. So let's go ahead and copy my mask passwords here and go back over to our job. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap these two sh steps with mask password, then I'm going to close it up. So in this case, I have var password pairs. In this first array, I have the variable my password one, and the password that it's referencing is dollar sign my password one, just like what we're doing right here. If we scroll right, we have another element in the overall array to where I have my password two and dollar sign my password two. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing around our E and V. So we'll wrap that, go to the end. So now we should be ready to run this job. Let's go ahead and click on save and click on build with parameters. I'm gonna change my password one. In this case, I'm just gonna type one, two, three. And for my password two, I'm just gonna type in nine, eight, seven and click on build. Now as job three is running, we see an error. And what this says is we're missing a required parameter var mask regexes. Well, I didn't need to type that in, but the step mask password requires this. So let's go back over into our snippet generator. So let's go ahead and click on regular expressions. I'm gonna give it a name of just AAA and a regex of dot star and click on generate pipeline script. And what we'll see here is we now have an entry for var mask regexes, but I don't actually need any of this information. Let's go ahead and just copy this, go back over to our job. Let's edit the job, configure, and we just need to pass in an empty array with var mask regexes. So we'll go here to mask passwords, we'll paste in what we have, put in a comma, and then let's get rid of all of this. So we just need an empty array for var mask regexes. Let's go ahead and copy this. We'll go down to our ENV, paste it in. That looks okay. So let's go ahead and click on save. And now let's click on build with parameters one more time. Again, we'll edit my password one. I'm gonna type in one, two, three. For my password two, I'm gonna type in nine, eight, seven and click on build. What we'll see as job number four runs, when we take a look at the output, we see the step call for mask passwords. We see that both of my password one and my password two are both all masked out. And also if we go down into ENV, the references to my password one and my password two are also both masked out. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.